here we have another beautiful little Wedgwood Fairyland Lustra Bowl um, designed by Daisy Mackie Jones um, and produced between uh, by Wedgwood between 1915 and and 1929. They're just the most beautiful little ornaments and uh, at the time were were very very much sought after um, and uh, sold exceptionally well as luxury goods on both sides of the the Atlantic um, until the economic downturn of the late twenties which pretty much um, brought in a new era of austerity and uh, very expensively and lavishly produced goods like this just fell out of favour for obvious reasons um, but uh, they're just the most beautifully ornate uh, things from a very creative mind um, it's often said that Daisy Mackie Jones lived more in the world of fairies and uh, of elves than she did in the real world um, and her designs were just the most eccentric and uh, but stunningly beautiful um, at the same time this beautiful little bowl has this absolutely gorgeous sea green interior I mean it's, it's just uh, the way it, 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 it captures the light with this iridescent glow is, is just quite uh, quite amazing it's almost hypnotic it's um, it has such a sort of a depth um, to it you can simply look at them all day and and marvel at the way the light plays as you change the angle the bowl is as you can see in uh, very very good condition and uh, I wouldn't like to say what fanciful or mythical creatures these are meant to be um, but they're quite beautiful as is the bowl in general Uh, this bowl has its pattern number on, on the base Z429 Z4829 sorry and the uh, Wedgwood stamp and as with all these designs they, they cease, uh, Wedgwood ceased production of these um, after 1929 so that's the latest date this bowl would be from um, they're just uh, quite magical to look at them so you know uh, they really do elicit that that sense that their name was intended to represent they really do have that sort of fairyland lustre to them um, and They feel quite precious, obviously influenced not only by the mythical but by the oriental as well. With, uh, again, I wouldn't like to say what 
animal the center illustration is meant to represent but uh, quite beautiful with its with its reds and its blues and its yellows um, and it's it's dragon like oriental influence and uh, as you can see this this um, funnily enough almost satin like like the box this satin like mottling of uh, of blues is uh, just quite gorgeous really when you think about it I could literally just stare at, at these things all day I, I'm uh, um, I'm like uh, <laughs> I'm like a rabbit caught in headlights I think for some reason they just capture me um, and I keep on staring so I will uh, cut this video short before I I, I uh, fall irreparably into, into some sort of Alice in Wonderland hole uh, but as you can see there um, this is quite amazing it's quite beautiful um, and this is one of just two pieces of, uh, of this Sart Nouveau uh, Wedgwood Fairyland um, we have in stock at Timeless hyphenantiques.co.uk at the moment um, and they're both beautiful but this is just the most gorgeous dainty little bowl and uh, you know whether as a gift or on display or whatever it's just uh, you know a, a real piece of Art Nouveau early 20th century history and um, just a, a beautiful, eccentric, elaborately uh, created work of art. So, they ping. Oh, this is quite a small one. So, I don't, I don't really want to whack it too hard. Um, I don't have the hands built for pinging things, unfortunately. So, but you can, even when I'm just twisting it, you can just hear a subtle chime. So, it's majestic to hear as well as to look at. It's a, a beautiful piece. And it's available at our website, this, this very one at timeless-antiques.co.uk um, so there you have it thank you very much